Well, that sounded like good news. Ooh, they just promoted Mabel Green. She just went downtown to see a movie and she never returned. I think that Terry should come and stay with us. And we want her to come live with us. $175,000 for repairs? As a matter of fact, I think he might be able to help. Well, bring him on in. Just don't know if I have the strength to do it, Lord. And I think you'll make a great head deacon too. Maybe in a year or two, maybe assistant pastor. It's just another confirmation that it's time for me to go. my girlfriend. You like it? Well, now as a matter of fact, I do believe it makes you look like a pretty good looking old bro. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Have some tea. Oh, thanks. Wait a minute. You got a hot date? I'm not going to kiss and tell. <laughs> well, that's assuming you got something to kiss and tell about. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. Something smells good. What is it? I have no idea. I'm just trying to invent something to use up some of the ladies' eggs, and as you can tell, the ladies are raining those eggs out there. Well, it smells good. Which usually means there is a possibility it might even be edible. And what if it's not? Oh, that's easy. I just grab my purse, head on down to Katie Lou's Cafe in Sonoya. Not a problem. Well, knowing your reputation for ruining even the simplest of recipes, I expect we'll probably be heading to Sonoy. Just try it. You might just be surprised and have to eat those words. Mmm. <laughs> that is not bad. Not bad at all. Well, goodbye, Katie Lou. Oh, but I like <laughs> Katie Lou's. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, how are things going to the church? You mean other than Deacon Hall breaking my heart and then finding out that Mabel Green's replacement is gonna be a bigger pain in my neck than Mabel herself, other than those two minor details, oh, everything is just hunky-dory. Lynn, you need to just let this Deacon Hall thing go, unless you want somebody to remain a part of the church that doesn't wanna be there. I know. And as much as I'm gonna miss Deacon Hall, the fact is, a leader has to be faithful, and right now, he's just not faithful. He's so angry, and he's decided he's leaving, and that's it. So all I can do is just place him in the Lord's hands and trust, really trust, that the Lord will turn it into something good. And he will. Yes, he will. And you do have some good news. You found that agency that'll take on the responsibility of helping Terry. Thank you, Lord. Abba always knows how to show up on time. Maddie, they are a wonderful organization. They love God and they fully understand the complexities of human trafficking. We certainly don't. And what I'm particularly excited about is not only can they care for her properly, but they also know how to see that she's gonna be protected. Hmm. Protection is vital. And the church just wasn't equipped to, to do that. It wasn't and I don't think it was ever meant to be. So you do have good news. Yes. So now you can switch your attention to that little problem of Mabel Green's replacement. 
Honey, believe it or not, I'm not even going to take a second thought about that. Oh, really? Mm-mm. How's that? Well, basically because I've come up with some very, very creative ways of dodging that old gal. <laughs> In fact, I'm kind of proud of myself, to tell you the truth. Why waste all that time? You're the pastor, aren't you? Well, I am. Well, she can't make you do anything. You know, you're right. She can't make me do anything. Well, just stand up to her. What's the matter with me? You are absolutely right. I am the pastor. I make the decisions in That's that right. church. I, I, girl, I'm going to walk up to her and I'm going to put my finger in her face and I'm going to tell her to buzz off. I'm going to tell her you are not bringing anybody else into this sanctuary. It's going to cause problems. There you go. I'm going to show her who's boss. So, where are you going to hide this time? The men's room. So I guess we can agree all of the songs for this Sunday need to focus on the awesomeness of God. And it always should. You know, Derek, it's not just that he's worthy of nothing less, but you and I both know that awesome things happen in the midst of worship. Mm -hmm. Folk get healed, filled with the Holy Ghost, delivered. It's, it's sort of like God says, you know what? If you'll just focus on me, I'm going to turn right around and focus on you and the wonders start. It's glorious. Mm. Amen to that. <laughs> So you know what, when Gina gets here, we're gonna focus a little bit more on some more Sunday morning music. How about that? Worship. Worship. Focus mm. on him. And uh, here she is, Miss Gina. And tell me this, is she in a good mood or a bad mood? Well, she's doing all right right now, but are you getting ready to change that? No, but Mabel Green's replacement is about to do the honors. Is she on her way in? She'll be here in about 30 minutes and I can't wait to hear what you plan on doing when she gets here. I'll tell you what she's gonna do. She's gonna run for her life. That's what she's gonna do. I am not. You two watch and behold, because I am gonna take a stand, a firm stand. I'm gonna look her square in the eyeballs and tell her she is not gonna run over me like Mabel Green did. Mm -mm. Cause the Mabel train, that puppy has ceased to run. You know this is Mabel Green on steroids, right? I do. And you gonna take a stand against that? I am. Today? Today. <laughs> yeah, okay. We're gonna watch Chicken Little here holler and scream, the sky is falling, and run. <laughs> no, go ahead. You just have your little laugh. You just have your good old time, but you're gonna see it today. I'm standing firm. And you know what, Gina? Just have your camera ready, okay? Ain't you funny. <laughs> so, so, so yeah. I can at least try it and be. Excuse me, can I help you? Oh, hello. I am Carmelita Pavarelli Schwartz. I'm wondering, can you help me find Pastor Jenkins? <laughs> uh -huh. 